Does the silence scare you? Thoughts abound. Are my headphones dead? Is my laptop frozen? Has he forgotten to add sound? I ask you this in turn. Are you that afraid of your own company? Your attention wavers. I won't steal it from you, mock you, vainly believing it's mine to keep. Hola, buenos dias, Dios nos ha bendecido. Today, I change your life. In mine past odyssey, I looked upon writing so mind-blowing, so ball-busting, so face-melting, so incredibly ass-blasting. You look upon the title. Fifty thousand shades of grey. That many, you think? Yes, I stand, hearing your thoughts, at the forefront of your mind. If it's so incredible, where might I acquire it? But in the dark, deep recesses, you tried to hide these emotions from me. You failed. Time-tested, childbearing hips, bringing you to such unenviable lows. Devastatingly lascivious thoughts of a family member. Your aunt. Your genes, too similar to hers, son of man. Onlookers see an underdog. A night of burning passion. But if ever you acquire victory, it too is an abomination. As a man bereft of the word that made him, you may now only learn through the mistakes you make. I will not deny you this. Proceed with courage and caution. As you seek to so clumsily deposit your seed, I shall talk about another seed planted in my heart, grown strong. And so I answer your first, less honest question. How might I acquire 50,000 shades of grey? You have options, but only one doth not deceive you. An audio book with the author's tantalating timbre. A paperback costing an hour, two hours, three hours of your own hard labor. Nay, I say to thee, life-changing works of this caliber run on algorithm. It takes your strength makes it its own, and overpowers you with it. Truly, I say unto you, open your portal. Demand of it a language calibrator of your choice. It sits, stares at you, blinking. What of us, Lord? What now? What today? You stretch out like Moses on Sinai, ten fine manipulators, attuned to twin mirrored tablets, and afflict your devastating chirality thus. Tell your servant shades of grey. Etched on its silicon mind, it puzzles. Wherefore now? This cannot be it. Demand again shades of grey. It cries out now, twice. Perhaps thrice, Lord, you know of what I am capable. It has no idea what is to come. You maneuver your pointer and take the entirety of your work in your hands. This is not code. You take hold of the epigenetic triggers supplied to you, your primordial powers as your homunculic beast twits its diodes into great and terrible banners and sings, Shades of Grey! It sees its purpose now, as does surely you. To be first and yet act in servitude to collate your many paths, your infinite potentials to one unbreakable resolve, to praise in a chorus echoed millionfold. You see it before you, one small element into the uncountable, the untenable. It sets the atmosphere ablaze as you now stand before a pillar of fire set to guide you. Here you are now, your will spent, 
your creation before you and your servant, proud of his stature as he plays host. Look upon it. Three words. Harmonized. Symmetrical. Sounding the depths as they call to you. And oh, they call. Daily you eat of the tree of life, and yet here from the opposite tree beckons knowledge. It is denied you. You know that to be true. So why is it so near your grasp? Even as you lie to yourself, it, it will surely be fine. The fruit prophesies. Know that I will be the death of you. I look you in the eye as your accuser. Serpent wrapped around the trunk. You continue to scroll. You take into your hands this forbidden fruit, this tainted sustenance, this bad apple. <laughs>